I grew up in the 90s, that was my teen years. I grew up in like a little village and people didn't really know what to do with me. It was when actually the YBA started becoming big on television that I kind of saw people with working class accents who were making like maybe not proper art, you know? And I was like, oh, they're really successful. And I was like, oh, this is what I meant to do. Up till then everyone was like, oh, you have to be an interior designer, an architect or something kind of practical. So I ended up applying to Goldsmiths, moved to London. Um, yeah, and then sort of that was 20 years ago. And it's been like a really long um, experience, you know? I'm really glad that it took a bit longer for things to get going for me because it's given me a lot more confidence in my voice. The backbone of my practice is painting, but I, I always respond to the world in a more complicated way than painting. But I really like the idea of creating an environment so people, when they come to it, they can kind of activate the space. We spend so much time looking at the world through 2D kind of um, images on our phones, computer screens, and that's how kind of we process a lot of our lifestyles now. And um, with an exhibition, you've got that unique kind of perspective of being able to play in three dimensions. So, um, and I enjoy playing in three dimensions. So if people are gonna come to have an experience in 3D, I like to uh, offer them that experience. There's things you can do in painting that you can't do in sculpture and vice versa, you know, so I like to play with those kind of things. There's a more materiality to um, the sculptures than the rest of the paintings, but then have them all come together. So the paintings almost, I don't know, in a way kind of act as like billboards or advertisements for the sculptures. I like to play about with lots of different mediums, yeah. <laughs> We're very pressured to make beautiful things and pretty things and be palatable, which is great. Art is about beauty and all that kind of thing. But it's also fun as an artist to challenge people or give them something which isn't so palatable. Um, and it's a bit confrontational, but with comedy though, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not meant to be, make people feel ill or uncomfortable. It's funny, you know, and it's kind of also just unraveling a bit of the scaffolding behind kind of the imagery or the messaging that we find ourselves constantly bombarded with. I can give the viewer just a beautiful show of desirable objects, desirable images, and that, that's very easy, but our entire world is made up of that, you know? All the companies do this constantly. And I think as an artist, I'm in a unique opportunity to be in a space where I can provide you beauty and desire, but I can also freely kind of like challenge that or kind of parody that and have fun with it. To show them in this kind of environment, like brings them out of their kind of throwaway state and kind of changes their status up and I think that kind of transition of status is something that I'm very interested in within my own kind of um, journey as an artist and then my own kind of like storyline within the work and then the message in the work's kind of trying to push. It's really interesting when you get to show in a place which has more period features like this place has a carpet I've never shown with a carpet before. I, I really enjoy that kind of contrast of my work which is like aggressively plastic, aggressively kind of like pop um, the work is too big for the space in many ways you know it's like it's oversized and um, yeah and I, I I like that. I think that's, it, it, as for me, opposites are always something that I really like to play with. So um, this idea of something which would be perceived as traditional or, or kind of historic with my kind of very hyper contemporary aesthetic, I think it kind of elevates both. I scaled the painting so they could fit into the space but be a bit too big. The installation could kind of um, work with it. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a happy kind of marriage between the two, yeah. I think, so much today is optimised to give people something which is totally palatable, totally pred predictable. And I think for me as an artist, it's my responsibility just to give my, my honest kind of opinion aesthetically, visually, anything, you know, at that moment in time. So I hope when people come, they maybe get a bit of a slap in the face, but like in a playful way, you know, it's sort of, I want them to be challenged, but in a way that they enjoy, not in an offensive way, you know, and yeah, they're kind of maybe a bit more open to maybe go online and see what else I'm about. Yeah, who knows, yeah. <laughs>